What's good? What's poppin? Gang gang. Editing Denali here. I am officially four weeks out. This is my four week update video. I just want to let you guys know. So basically this video is a compilation of videos and, and photos from the last two weeks. And then at the end, I sit down and update you guys on everything, how I'm feeling, how everything is going, how the ankle is. Um, so if you want to skip ahead to that summary, then go to this time right here. And if you want to stick around for all the fun, then just keep watching. Peace. Just crying all night and all morning because I don't think surgery is the right option. I don't want to get more surgeries. I don't know what to do. Look at this. This is my phone. Are you seeing that that is my bone? Can you see that? This is insane. Is this stay focused? Are you seeing that? That is my bone. Look at it curve. This is my muscle over here and my bone. But I didn't really poke out this thing. Like, look at this. Just pushing a little bit here. And then I can really, really get way too much. The way too much bone. Sometimes the bottom of my foot gets like itchy and so I like rub it and let me just show you how much dead skin is on my foot at the moment. It is so gnarly. Oh my god. And I can't like rotate my foot to see it so I'm gonna use it. Oh my god. That is gnarly. So yeah. I cannot wait to wash my foot. Show us what's on your head. I'm a princess. Are you okay? I gotta tell you guys something. I no longer have muscle in my body because that's what I weigh. Oh, oh, yeah. So, sound help. Hello! I didn't bring my camera because I couldn't be bothered, so I'm filming this on my phone, but I just arrived at my first ankle therapy session, so I believe I'm getting my stitches out today, and then I'll have my first physical therapy, which I'm pretty sure just um, is going to be like moving my foot like up and down, like gas pedal movements. I can't go in, in and out because I had ligaments repaired on both sides, so I can't go in and out for like 12 weeks. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really boring. And maybe I'll do like some hip stuff, like just general leg strengthening, which I definitely need. My leg is like so tiny and so weak. So yeah, I will check in after this cause I'm gonna ask Metzl a bunch of questions. So I'm gonna do a little check in when I get home. So I'll see you guys there.
Also, I will try to film as much I will try to film as much as I can of the rehab, but this place is like pretty packed and there's like a lot going on in the in the um, training room. So I will try, but if I can't, then I'll just like show you what I'm doing and I'll do it at home because I believe I'll be able to do everything at home and it won't be like, oh, I don't have that equipment. So, so yeah, I will try to videotape as much as I can. And I'm breaking out like crazy. Like, you can't see it. So bad. Because I went off birth control for this surgery, so I'm like breaking out really bad. You mean, it's not like my acne was gone on birth control. It's just like getting worse now, so. We'll see if I start it again. Haven't decided. I'm gonna get blood work done after I've been off it for a while. Sorry, this is a tangent, goodbye. What's up you guys? So I'm about to have my first shower without my cat like cover, cast cover. Um, so I'm gonna clean my foot for the first time in four weeks. So I got my stitches out yesterday and I have been cleared to um, shower and let water and soap rinse over the spot. So I wanna show you guys like what I'm dealing with at the moment. It's literally insane. So I don't know how well you can see, but I have this pretty extreme line where I haven't been able to shave <laughs> and my skin is just like flaking off. I, don't, I also don't know how much you can see there. And then the bottom of my foot has all this dead skin on it. It's like disgusting. So let's unwrap this baby and see what we're working with. I should probably wash my hands, but I can't be bothered. You can, I don't know if you can see, but there's like all these little, oh my gosh, I'll zoom in and show you. It is bad. My bruising is still kind of there. I'm still super swollen and like I get swollen if my foot's down for too long, but I don't know. I think that's probably normal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the big reveal. Can you guys see this? <gasps> I haven't seen this. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's things on it. Oh my goodness. That feels so weird. Okay, so look at this. I'm so dry. My skin is just falling off. That's disgusting. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's so gross. Dead skin. Oh my gosh, will it not focus? I'm gonna try to focus you in. Oh my gosh. Yuck. This is the side I'm nervous about. So you can see there's still like this purple blackish marker my god, this feels so weird. It's like so hard. <gasps> Look at my skin! Oh my gosh. Ugh, my ankle is huge. Okay, these are my skin flakes. <laughs> That's gnarly. All right, so. My ankle is like super huge and like hard and okay, let me show you like a comparison if I can. So you can see how much bigger the ankle is. Like, I mean, you can definitely see it. It's like huge. It's gonna be a journey. I, like I said in the sit down video, I am like 
a little bit regretful of the surgery. Um, like just so much went on in it and I was like managing pretty fine without it. I have like tons of like inflammation in my Achilles. It just looks like a huge cankle. I have like a lot of like tightness behind my knee and my calf. My calf hurts so bad. My knee hurts. Um, my foot hurts on top and bottom. It's like the entire thing. I have no feeling in my toes. So as of right now, I'm exactly like to the day, four weeks out from surgery and right now I feel sad <laughs> and regretful and nervous that I won't recover well or like I have just a really long journey ahead and I don't know if it's worth it or the surgery is going to be worth it in the end. But, talked with my surgeon and he's, I mean, you know, he's the one that did surgery, like he doesn't, he's not gonna say otherwise, but he really does think that I did the right thing and blah, blah, blah. So, it's done, it is what it is. If it was the wrong decision, I'll have to learn from it. Hopefully it doesn't end my career and I'm just going to try to move forward. I mean, my ankle, like, you guys, I don't know if you can see it. Like, from the back, just looks like a freaking giant cankle. Like, it's so swollen. Like, you can't see. Watch. Okay, I'll show you comparison. Like, over here, you can, like, see, like, my Achilles really tight. And then, like, you can see my bone, like, and this, whatever this is. This might be my bone. I don't know. And, like... You can see it's so like bulgy and I have these these bones like bulge out on me so you can even see that like really well and then over here it's just like you can't like see anything I can't really move very well but you can't it's just like so swollen and puffy can't see my I mean this is like so thick through here and then over here is even worse like it's just like a swollen ball. Oh my god, look at my skin. So yeah. This sucks and I hate it. I feel like it's messing up like my back and my hip and all these things because I'm like having to walk with a boot and limp and my foot hurts, my knee hurts, my calf hurts, my everything hurts. Like why, 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 why? Just why? Literally, if you're ever thinking about playing sports at a high level, don't do it. That's how I'm feeling. I hope I can look back on this in like many months and be happy with my decision, but right now I'm like, this sucks, surgery sucks having injuries sucks because this is I mean this is like one of the five surgeries I'm supposed to get so also yes I do wear this shirt every day I'm not filming this all on the same day <laughs> uh, hopefully next time I see you I feel better about this decision here is a look at my clean foot my shaved leg Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. So yeah, dry skin everywhere. A ton of dead skin came off. Let's get a close up of this. Oh, that looks so gnarly. Anyways, there you have it. Also, me and D Wade are both famous in these parts of town, so you know. You know how it goes. Is this literally the driest ankle you've ever seen in your whole entire life? And foot? Do you guys even see that? Are we seeing this? So yeah.
That's insane. Oh, hi. Didn't see you guys there. Well, welcome to my new background slash temporary studio. So I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys today, give a little four week update on my ankle and how things are going. Today is officially four weeks since my surgery. I got my stitches out yesterday and I was gonna make this video yesterday, but since today is like exactly one month, I just figured I would do it today, you know, just to see what happened in one day. So let's see, where did we leave off? I got the cast off and I got in a walking boot. So for the last two weeks, I have been in a walking boot. I started with both crutches. After a couple days of both crutches, so let's say two weeks and four days, I went to one crutch. So I was on one crutch for about a week. And then on Tuesday, uh, November, what would that have been? Third, no, second, on Tuesday, November 2nd, I think, I was at a consultation for my shoulder and I ran into my surgeon and I asked him if I could come off the crutch and he said yes. So I've been walking in the walking boot with no crutches for three days and uh, it's been good, I've been getting better. Uh, my foot still gets swollen when I have it down for a long time and especially when I walk on it on the boot. So I really just try to avoid it, even though walking on your bones and things like that after they have surgery or they're recovering is actually good. It strengthens the bones. So I don't want to stay off of it too much, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, I've been off of the crutches since Tuesday and then my follow up to my stitches out and my first PT session was Thursday. Today is Friday, so yesterday got the stitches out. She said everything looks good. I have to keep these little like, I don't know what they're called. They're like sterile strips. I don't know what they're called actually. There's a name for them, but they are supposed to stay on for like a couple weeks and I can shower with them on, but don't take them off or rip them off until the wound is completely healed. I shouldn't film in here because I'm looking out the window and I get so distracted. <laughs> my first PT session was mainly just doing like gas pedal motions with my ankle. I think that's, I just made that name up in my mind, but basically moving my uh, ankle through like dorsal flexion and plantar flexion or plantar flex. Yeah, I think I can, I think that makes sense. And nothing internal or external at all for like 12 weeks, I think because I had ligaments repaired on both sides. I don't have any weight bearing or anything like that. I have hip exercises for both hips because of my hip problems. And then quad exercises. And I will actually insert that these right here. So everything in this video is sped up by three times. So I'm not actually moving my foot or leg this fast. So these are the ankle pumps that I was referring to earlier as the gas pedal movement. They're actually called ankle pumps. But yeah, I do these and they kind of hurt. As I move from dorsiflexion to plantar flexion, I actually have quite a bit of pain right in that area where you would have pain after a lateral ankle sprain, but it's getting better. And I pretty much just do these all day. Like whenever my leg is up or out or anything, I'm always doing this movement. Uh, next, I do a calf stretch, a seated calf stretch with a band or strap. Here I'm using a band. I basically just sit and wrap the strap around my foot and then pull back on it. I don't pull too hard, but it stretches my Achilles, calf, and behind my knee. Then I move right into a hamstring stretch with the same band or strap. And I know this doesn't look like I am very flexible and that is because I'm not behind my knee and my calf and my hamstring are so incredibly tight. So this is actually stretching me a ton. Uh, I actually add this hamstring stretch. It's kind of like an active stretch to my protocol. Nobody told me to do this, but I really like this stretch. So I add it in. 
Next, I move into straight leg raises. So I just lie back, bend my opposite leg. Then I contract my quad as hard as I can, raise my leg straight up and straight down, and I relax at the bottom of the movement every time. And then I re-engage and re-contract my quad at the beginning of every rep. Then I flip over and I do my glute exercises. So I basically just contract my glute with my toes on the ground and then I raise my foot about a foot off of the ground while keeping my glute contracted and I squeeze at the top for a couple seconds and then I slowly release down in a controlled manner. My glute is dead, oh my gosh. And then I do my hip abduction exercises. So I basically just raise my leg into abduction and I hold it there for 30 seconds until I am a shaky mess and it hits my outer hip and my glutes. Here I'm doing talus scrunches, which is a staple for any ankle rehabilitation protocol. So I basically can do these as much as I want until my foot cramps and they are really difficult for me at the moment. And lastly, I roll the bottom of my foot on a lacrosse ball. This has really been helping with my mobility through my Achilles and my calf and also my foot. And that is pretty much it. With all of these exercises, I'm pretty sure she gave me like reps and sets and how many times a day, but really at the end of the day, I'm just doing it as much as physically possible. So, you know, I kind of, I don't consider anything to be like too much until it hurts basically. So that's what I'm doing for PT at the moment. And I have, a session on Tuesday and I will try to maybe record even or update you guys after that. Let's see, so I will be in the boot, I think, for four more weeks, but I don't really know. I guess we'll see, you'll have to stick around to see. Okay, so since I got my stitches out yesterday, today was my very first day in four weeks washing my foot or shaving the lower half of my calf. So I'm super happy about that. I showered this morning. I scrubbed the bottom of my feet and the top of my foot and got all the dead skin off, most of it. And I shaved the lower half of my calf and it's so pretty and hairless. And it literally like every stroke with the razor, the razor would like get full. So I'd like clean it out after every stroke. And everything's good on that end. Everything felt fine. I still have some like mark marker marks on my ankle from where he like draws where he's going to make the incision. I'm assuming it's permanent, so it's going to take a while to come off, but I'm not supposed to scrub that area. So we'll just let it stain my leg forever. <laughs> so the only thing that happened today in the shower that was like weird or whatever was that my foot was super sensitive. So I was showering and like normal temperature of water not super hot at all and my foot was like on fire like burning when the water hit it directly it felt so hot it felt like fire so i'm just assuming since it hasn't had any sensation uh in four weeks that it's just super sensitive and that's fine i've been instructed to try to bring different sensations back to my foot because it's basically like, I don't think I want to use the word numb, but there's definitely nerve damage or not damage, but sensitivity. So like after you have surgery, there's so many things that are cut through and just messed with that like you don't have like really good sensation back. You also don't have like a good feeling of like where your foot is and kind of like, yeah, like where the ground is, where your foot is, and that's why you have to stay in a boot for so long. So I am supposed to like rub things against my foot <laughs> and my ankle, like towels, feathers, like touch it, like all that kind of stuff. So to bring sensation back to it, uh, which I've been doing and I'm really excited about because it it's like kind of irritating to me, like more irritating than it should be for some reason. So yeah. So I can shower totally fine, let the soap and water run down my leg. I'm not supposed to scrub at my incisions just yet, but that's fine. And I am not supposed to submerge my ankle in anything like hot tub, bathtub, uh, pool, anything like that. Those are kind of my only like guidelines right now is don't put weight on it without the boot. Don't get in a pool and don't move it inside or outside. Yeah.
I think that's it. I'm supposed to continue to try to keep it up as much as possible because it's still getting really, really uh, swollen when it's like down for a long time. So like right now my foot's super swollen. Um, if I like have to go run around for work or whatever, it just gets super swollen and it hurts when it's swollen. So I'm trying to avoid that because swelling, I mean, a certain amount of swelling is good, but then swelling also inhibits like recovery and range of motion and that kind of thing. So trying to keep it ice and keep it up as much as possible. It's just, it's just hard, like with a job and a life and things to do all day. Like you can't just lay around with your foot up. It's really, really difficult. So I've been trying to think about like ways, you know, to advice to give you guys about that. But I, I really don't know. I just try to keep it up whenever I sit down. I just put it up on something. I should have it up right now, honestly. Okay, so one thing I wanted to kind of talk about and just, I don't know, put out there is my energy levels and how I feel like they've been a little bit low since surgery. I didn't have a super tough like day after or a couple days after surgery recovery or even the same day, like I felt fine. But I do feel a little bit like I don't know, just like slow down, groggy, low energy levels, a little bit like unmotivated, like that kind of stuff. I I do know that like after surgery, sometimes your energy levels can be low because like of like losing blood or just like the trauma and that kind of stuff. So I'm not like super worried about it. But one thing that I am feeling a lot is a lot of regret and I'm not really sure how to fix it. I've been working on things, but as some of you might know, I have like a ton of things wrong with me. I would say the main one that, that ultimately made me make the decision that I made to take a season off is my stomach. And I'm still working very actively on trying to fix that. But the second ailment or injury of most importance would be my shoulder probably and then my hip and then my ankle and then my toe my original plan with all of this was to do everything fix everything but i got a little bit blinded i think by like surgery and the excitement behind actually having things fixed and not having to deal with these injuries and these pains anymore but then i quickly remembered that surgery isn't like a walk in the park it is a super long recovery other things can be affected by surgery so you know i have a bad shoulder or and then i get surgery and now something hurts in my neck or something hurts in my lat or something or there's just a different problem on my shoulder like things don't Surgery isn't always the answer, and it also isn't always the easy answer, even though it kind of like feels like it sometimes. Like my whole life, I've always gone by the mindset of like avoid surgery at all costs because I've had two, three ish surgeries that were like n absolutely non negotiable because my bone was broken completely in half and like either overlapping or out of place like they I had to get surgery or else I would be like deformed and even with those surgeries like my recovery there's other things that are wrong now like in my elbow the bone isn't broken anymore but the tendons all messed up I can't even engage my tricep like ever ever again um, with my shoulder like I feel really strong through here but I dislocate the shoulder all the time so who's to say it wasn't from this surgery like there's all kinds of things that there's side effects to it. And I'm realizing that very quickly after my ankle and I don't want to be like jumping the gun and be just saying, oh my gosh, I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing because it's not even healed yet. But I mean, I'm gonna have to relearn how to walk, strengthen it. I'm gonna have to make sure, I mean, as of right now, there's things in my calf and my Achilles that are very, very painful and concerning and the, with the surgery that I had and being in the boot, I'm at risk for plantar fasciitis after this. So there's like a million things. Like I don't have feeling in my in my foot, in my ankle. I my knee is hurting. I don't know why. Like there's all. Oh, I just kicked my chair. 
there's all kinds of things that can go wrong and <sighs> putting all these surgeries together at once seemed like a good idea initially because then it's like get all these surgeries banged out in a year you only have to take one year off instead of recovering from each one you know year after year but it's not realistic it's not realistic to re recover from sometimes even one of these surgeries and get back to playing professional sports or be a professional athlete like it, it's actually really uncommon so when it comes to the hip surgery and the toe surgery and the shoulder surgery I'm now revisiting all the doctors and figuring out if maybe it's something that yeah it needs to get done eventually but can it wait until after I'm done being a professional athlete can it wait until my career is over because at this point it's I mean my left leg is literally a limp noodle I haven't trained in honestly I haven't trained in almost a year now it, last November, I hurt my back and I was pretty much out from November to like January and then I tried to play a game and then my hip hurt and it, I haven't been to the gym and like lifted in like consistently and hard in a year. So I am, I'm, I, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm like 15 pounds lighter than I was half a year ago and I have no muscle left in me. And so that's just one surgery. Now add on a hip where they have to break your pelvis and you know all these kinds of things that basically nobody comes back from and plays professional sports. Add in a toe on the opposite side of the ankle. So now my right leg is turning into a noodle. Add in the shoulder so that while I'm recovering from the lower extremity surgeries, I can't even lift my upper body. It's just too much and I can almost guarantee myself I won't ever play again or at least at a high level like I want to. So I haven't decided anything yet, but those are thoughts going into my on in my mind and basically like I have a lot of regret about doing my ankle first because I don't feel like it was the highest priority injury. I've been told since 2015 that I needed ankle surgery and I've just been dealing with it and I honestly haven't had many ankle sprains since then because my ankle is so loose so it doesn't really like pop and I don't tear stuff when I do roll it it just like goes over and I'd rather that than have like painful ankle sprains again so I'm having a lot of regret I'm trying to deal with it and just move forward because what's done is done but i hope that i can report to you guys in a few months and tell you that i don't regret my decision because this is not a good feeling it feels like i may have just ended my career even though it may be ended for me anyways because my damn hip but I just don't like feeling like I made a mistake or like I made a impulsive decision or an uninformed decision and that's the way I'm feeling right now. Anyways, let's move on. That's pretty much it. I'm doing rehab as much as I can and I see my doctor again in four weeks. So maybe I come out of the boot in four weeks. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm going to be trying to strengthen my hamstring, my quad, my hips my glutes for the next little while and also kind of get some flexibility back because I feel very stiff I'll probably really honestly work more on like yoga and core stuff than anything because part of the reason my hip hurts hips hurt there's actual structural issues but I have rectus abdominis tendonitis which is basically like six-pack abs you know you're like six-pack abs uh, I have tendonitis where those attach to your pubic bone. So, so basically my abs are completely overworked and just like over engaged and I don't know how to use them correctly and the list goes on and on. So they pull on the tendon that's attached to the pubic bone, which essentially is pulling on the pubic bone, which gives me tendonitis. I have like really bad chronic tendonitis, she said, uh, my, my, my therapist said. So 
we need to work on that, like disengaging, relaxing, activating properly, not overusing, all that kind of stuff. And she thinks it will really help my hip flexor adductor issues. So hopefully with dedicated, diligent therapy for the next eight weeks, we see an improvement with that. And if I don't, then I will really reevaluate my hip. Anyways, sorry I'm going on and on about my other stuff. This is an ankle video. Let's focus on the ankle. So yeah, rehab for the next uh, couple weeks. I will check back in in two weeks and let you guys know how everything's going. But basically just being able to shower is super great uh, without putting a wrapper on my foot so I can get off all that dead skin, wash my foot, and I need to work on my sensations feeling stuff in my foot more and getting swelling out. But yeah, and also being able to walk without a crutch is awesome. I mean, literally life-changing because now I can carry things. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. Okay, so one thing, I mean, this is kind of like a main thing, but uh, just to talk about the pain a little bit. So it hurts my foot, my uh, Achilles, my calf, the outside of my calf, my ankle, like the ankle bones. Uh, the under side of my, um, like the arch of my foot, uh, everything that I just mentioned all hurt <laughs> to touch and to like stretch. They don't hurt bad enough to like, you know, take a pill or anything like that. They just hurt. They don't feel like no pain. And then usually at night, I have these shooting pain, not while I'm sleeping, it doesn't wake me up, it's like before I go to sleep. I have these shooting pains, and that's exactly what they are, they're like shooting. From my heel, usually, like, you know there were that bruises on the inside of my heel, like right there, kind of like up my calf and my leg. And it feels just like inside my bone, just like a, I don't even, it's just a shooting sharp pain. But when, it, when people say sharp pain, I'd get a little bit confused because people are like sharp pain, like sharp or dull, or like sharp or aching. But this is both. This is like sharp, shooting, and aching. And I don't know how else to describe it. And I am not super worried about it, like things are gonna hurt, uh, but I just wanted to mention it for anybody that's watching this video that has similar things, you know, it's good to hear somebody else is going through the same thing and to kind of ease your worries and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, pain's normal. I mean, everywhere to touch is painful, like the top of my foot, the side of my foot, but on the bottom of my foot, my ankle, my calf, my everything is like really sensitive to touch, but um, that's, I think, totally normal. I mean, a lot of shit went on in there, so. So that is all I have, I believe, who knows, but I will check back in with you guys in two weeks and let you guys know how everything's going. Um, and I hope you guys like my new little studio setup. Uh, this is a tapestry that was given as a gift because I would never buy a tapestry, <laughs> but it works really good and I love the colors. So happy about that. And hopefully you guys can hear me okay. It's probably a little echoey because there's like nothing in this room. So I'll try to figure that out. But I'm like, I'm like, record. so I record my audio on this. And like, if I pulled it right here, it'd be like so, such a good audio. Maybe I'll just like, like, should I just do that? Like hold this like this, like, hey guys. So blah, 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 la 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 la. So much better probably. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Gang, gang, keep it real, peace.